Did you know that the Incans had their version of communism before the Europeans? Yeah, all they had to do was exchange labor for goods. So like, let's say if somebody needed their house built, they will all come together and build the house um, for that one person. It was all about equality. So the men will work and build the houses and also fix up the infrastructure and that's how they paid back their communities. It was more of a communal bonding than anything else. They didn't even have a concept of currencies. The women will cook for the entire community and they will also all come together and make clothing as well. They will also have storehouses to prevent famine from happening. The Spaniards were at awe and impressed by the Incan Empire, but the thing that didn't ring to them very well is how is it that the Incas had so much gold and didn't have a currency system. The Spanish was so obsessed with their gold that the Emperor Atahualpa thought that he can pay them off a thousand times over, like a room full of gold and then some that's worth $400 million to this day. Not only that the Spanish were obsessed with their gold, but the Spanish were also obsessed with their own faith in Christianity, which they thought out of the kindness of their heart that they would spread out to the savage indigenous people of Peru which, total bullshit. The Inca Empire did fall after the spread of diseases and war, which gave rise to the Spanish Empire.